Hello all and welcome to this AWS tutorial. In our tutorial today, I will provide a brief overview on AWS VPC Manage Prefix List. What is a managed prefix list? A prefix list is a logical grouping or a set of one or more CIDR block entries, right? So for example, you have multiple IP addresses. If you create a list out of it, this is what a prefix list is all about. You can use prefix lists to make it easier for you to configure and maintain your security groups and your route tables. Now, why is that? Let's say you had a security group, SG, right? Typically, you would create multiple rules over here, possibly one rule per IP address, right? So you could have multiple rules. Now, let's say if you had to create multiple security groups, right? you would pretty much create these rules in each and every security group, right? Because you'll have to copy these IP addresses over there. Let's say one of the IP addresses changed or a new IP address got added. So you had to remove or modify a rule or add a new rule. And this will have to be done across all security groups. But instead of doing that, let's say if you had a prefix list, which already contained a list of IP addresses, and you reference this list over here in your security group, in that case, let's say if something modified, let's say one of the IP addresses was removed, a new IP address was added, all that you had to do was change this prefix list, and that change will be basically referenced in your security group, especially if there are multiple security groups. So if you have the same list of IP addresses used across multiple security groups, then create a prefix list, right? So that way you have one single place where you can make the change. And if you change that, all the security groups that is using this prefix list get automatically updated because they are referencing this particular prefix list. You can create a prefix list from the IP addresses that you use frequently and reference them as a set in your security group rules and routes instead of referencing them individually. Just what we discussed a few minutes back, right? So earlier you would probably reference them individually, right, right here. But if you use a prefix list, then it's at a central location, it's a single place, it's a, and if you make a change over there, all the groups referencing that particular prefix list will automatically get updated. There are two types of prefix list, customer managed and AWS managed. Now let us look into the details of both of them. Customer managed versus AWS managed. Customer managed prefix list support a single type of IP addressing that is either IPv4 or IPv6 and are available only to the region where they are created. When created, you must specify a maximum number of entries. These are the CIDR block entries that a prefix can support, prefix list can support. When referenced in a resource, the maximum number of entries for the prefix list counts against the quota of the number of entries for that resource. So for example, let's say you created a prefix list with max entries of 10 and you use that prefix list in a security group. Now those, those 10 entries will be counted against the quota or the total number of entries allowed for a security group, especially for that specific security group, okay? When referenced in a route table, route priority rules apply. When modified, a new version is created and the latest version is always referenced. That means the customer managed prefix list support versioning. And every time you make a change, a new version will be created. Now, of course, since it supports versioning, you can restore an older version, but restoring an older version will also create a new version. 
it integrates with aws uh, resource access manager or aws ram which enables you to share resources across aws accounts by creating a resource share so let's say you created this prefix list in one of your accounts technically it's available within that region but if you use aws resource access manager you can share it across aws accounts right so you can share it let's say maybe with some of the teams maybe with some of the departments so that way there's one single list that is maintained and every time you make a change that list gets updated but since it's been referenced by other security groups or route tables right in different accounts will be same account all of them get updated and you don't have to go ahead and make those changes individually in those uh, resources or those, whether those are security groups or routes or route tables whatever the case may be now let me quickly switch to my aws console because i wanted to show this to you so that it makes sense right so this is how you create a pre prefix list so let's give a name so let's say we give a name say max entries is 20 and as we discussed, it could either be IPv4 or IPv6. And now you can add entries over here. So let's say I'm just going to add a couple of entries, right? And you can continue to add entries. Remember your max entry, number of entries is 20. Now, what if I change this to four? It will allow me to add one additional entry right here. But beyond that, it would not allow me to add any more entries. Why? Because the number of max entries on the top is four. And then you can go ahead and create your prefix list. Remember that this number of max entries over here, once the list is created, you cannot modify that. So if you want to create a group with more number of entries and ensure that you create it with those many number of entries. Once it's created, you cannot change the number of max entries. Now let us go ahead and look at AWS Manage Prefix List. Since it's AWS Manage, you cannot create, modify, share, or delete. You can reference an AWS Manage Prefix List in a resource, and it counts as a single rule or entry for that particular resource. You cannot view the version number of an AWS managed prefix. So these two are, I mean, all three are basically striking differences, right? Here you create, in customer manage, you create it. Here you cannot create, manage, delete, or share. So it's not under your control. Here, when you create a customer managed resource group with maximum number of entries, the number of uh, max entries gets counted against the quota of the resource that is referencing that particular resource group. Here, it does not matter. It counts only as a single rule or an entry for that particular resource. In customer managed prefix list, it enables versioning, it supports versioning. So you can create different versions. You can see the version number. Every time you make a change, a new version is created. In AWS managed, Possibly there is versioning going behind the scenes, but you cannot see the version number. So I hope that these differences are clear and it's also clear what a customer managed prefix list is and what an AWS managed prefix list is. Benefits. I believe the benefits are quite obvious, right? So it allows you or it enables you to manage IP addresses that are frequently used, right? in a single group as a central location. It's a logical grouping. And you can easily manage that list, right? So right now, let's say if you're going to individual security groups and making those changes, now you just need to go to one single prefix list and make that change. And that change will be reflected everywhere, wherever that particular prefix list is being referenced. You can share your managed prefix list with other AWS accounts. We discussed that using AWS Resource Access Manager, allowing others and enabling them, right, to reference your prefix list. So I hope that this particular concept is clear. I'll definitely create a hands-on lab around it, but I wanted to give you an overview first. I hope that this particular tutorial is helpful. I will create a hands-on lab and have it posted shortly. 
that's it from me today thank you and i will see you shortly in some other video take care and bye bye